Would it simplify our position if we stopped pretending our morals were beyond the, the reproach of all these other countries? Would it help us to not have to scold everybody for failing to live up to principles that we very clearly do not uphold? Well, at least we have some principles, okay? That, that's the one thing well, that we to say be said. that, but, you know, you can't invade a country. What happened in Iraq? That's right. Uh, you, you can't call for regime change. What did we do in Libya? Every time we say these things, we undercut our own position with, I mean, for God's sakes, Iran is an enemy today because we overthrew their democratically elected government in 1953. That's right. So at what point do we just admit that this is how we're behaving? This is the classic rules for thee and none for me. That is what he's trying to um, explain. And that is what the rest of the world are actually sick of. Because these same people are saying, um, do not do this, do not do that. They do the same thing they told other people not to do. Which is crazy. As a leader needs to lead by example, right? And these guys are showing a very, very poor example of, of leadership. Because they are exactly the thing they actually fight on. They exactly the thing they actually fight on. Look at what happened in 2020. They told everyone to stay in their homes. Do this, do that. Avoid crowded places. But in 2020, what did they tell people to do when about the George Floyd case? If you guys remember the protests very well. Exactly. Exactly. So it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. And that is what this man is actually explaining here in this video. Rules for thee and none for me. Reality, this world we call human, is manipulated from the unseen.